Inflation. Oh boy, oh boy. Inflation, inflation. Forever a hot buzzword. Well, generally speaking, inflation is right the increase of prices. So the value of a currency is falling. So prices go up because it takes more of each bill of currency to purchase those goods. So who gets hurt by inflation? Generally, it is the lower class. And who benefits from inflation? Generally, it is the upper class. Why is that? Well, because it's more expensive to live. And generally, if you are living paycheck to paycheck, it's going to be more expensive for you to try to live your life paycheck to paycheck. And if you are a wealthy individual, generally, you have a lot of assets, right? You've got your stocks and your, your property and your real estate. And all of these things increase with value as inflation happens. So you're you're kind of set, right? You got all your assets; they're increasing in value. But uh, for the lower class, then their you know their paychecks aren't going to increase as much. Uh, business owners are going to have be able to just increase the prices of their service. And um, inflation generally, who does it hit the worst? It is the lowest, the lower class. And am I saying that to just to go on a rant? Uh, I am not. I mean, I could, but there will be questions. There could be questions on. Who does it hurt most? And it would be people living on a fixed income, right? Just on a, let's say, a fifteen dollars minimum wage job, or you know, making fifty thousand dollars a year. Inflation is going to hurt you the most because you can't raise the price. If you're a company, you can raise the price of your goods, and you know, people will probably pay. I mean, depending on who you are, but you can't just decide to give yourself a raise. You're going to still have to live off the same paycheck, and you know, it'd be like that. So that is uh, that's inflation. Assets increase in value, cost of living increases. Deflation, well, we have ebbs and flows, we have up and down. As we have inflation, we also have deflation. This is the rate at which the value of a currency is increasing. And consequently, the general level of prices for goods and services is declining. Now, are either of these inherently good or bad? No, I'm not going to say either is good or bad. You want a good balance between them. Right? You don't want too much inflation, but you don't want too much deflation because deflation could bring you into uh, you know even a worse market i mean it, it, if everyone if everything's not worth anything then that's that's not good either so assets will decrease in value cost of living decreases right even though your cost of living decreases i mean maybe no one has any money so that's why and no one can afford to live anyway that's that's a reason why deflation is not necessarily a good thing right neither of these are good or bad um so yeah uh, generally, the level of prices of uh, goods and services will decline as deflation increases. Just get familiar with these terms and make note of them. Next, we have hyperinflation. This is, there's a, a specific term for here, right? I mean, hyperinflation, you could point at countries that have this, such as uh, Venezuela or Zimbabwe, where you see those pictures of people carrying stacks of billions of dollars in that country, and it's only worth the equivalent of one US dollar. This is a term to describe rapid, excessive, and out of control general price increases in an economy. While inflation is a measure of the pace of rising prices for goods and services, hyperinflation is rapidly rising inflation, typically measuring more than 50% per month. So, this is the exact definition. This is the exact metric. You have to memorize this, not particularly, but if the prices of items are rising more than 50% per month, I mean, yes, that is for sure hyperinflation. You know, if it's 45%, is it not hyperinflation? I mean, I would say it's probably still hyperinflation, but this is what the official metric is. Lastly, stagflation. When would you see this? I mean, there's a few examples, you know, there are possibly in the world. I'm not going to get into that because um, it's not fully agreed upon. But anyway, uh, this is persistent high inflation. So just memorize stagflation is high inflation. Stagnant economy with high inflation. So high inflation, which is not good if people can't buy things because they're more expensive. You also have high unemployment and stagnant demand in an economy. That's not good at all. Right. So a lot of people sitting around unemployed, so they have no money to spend on anything while everything is getting more expensive and while no one wants anything, probably because they can't afford anything. So this is stagflation. Memorize it, memorize the attributes of it, and you will be good to go. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material? We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai. 
where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.